Emily and I were doing our graduate work at UC Berkeley School of Public Policy when we realized there's nothing out there when foster care ends. First Place steps in where a parent would, a roof over your head, help navigating school and work, and a trusted adult to turn to. Without First Place, I wouldn't have been able to graduate from Cal State East Bay and get a good job. I also wouldn't have been able to support my daughter. These are youth that, through no fault of their own, were taken away from their families due to parental abuse or neglect. When I see a foster youth, I just see incredible potential. Foster youth are capable of so much. They just need the right leadership and support. And that these are young people who are very much for looking forward to their future. And what is it that they can do to make a path for themselves? It's time to do more. In 1998, we started by housing five young people. Today, we serve over 2,000 youth across California every year. After 15 years, First Place for Youth is now one of the largest providers of housing, education, and employment support to transition-age foster youth in the state of California. It continues to understand what young people really need by listening to them. But these are young people who haven't had a chance to really be young people. Imagine what it's like for a youth to have no place, physically or mentally, to have no home, no family or community to help assure them of their fundamental worth as a human being. The young people that we serve aren't looking for handouts, they're looking for hand ups. When I first came to first place, I was unsure. I still had a lot of doubt about whether or not I could be an independent adult. We often state very emphatically how much we care about children and youth and what a high priority they are, and yet repeatedly our public policies are not putting them first. We knew this had to end. When I meet the kids that have gone through First Place for Youth, I think, wow, these kids are going to do incredible things. And I see that sense of potential of what it is that they can be, kind of this blank canvas uh, that is waiting for the world to fill it up, and all they need is an opportunity to do so. You know, there are a lot of nonprofits that do good work, but I feel truly that First Place is an organization that goes above and beyond to meet the real needs of young people. Well, I think what others might be able to learn from us is how to hold out a culture of high expectations for young people and help them achieve outcomes that they never thought possible for themselves. We at Tipping Point have invested in First Place for Youth since 2005 because we, like you, believe this issue is solvable. I learned to be a good mom. I found a job. I was able to finish school, and I was able to get a stable home. It's time to expect more. When I tell others about First Place, uh, what I feel is tremendously proud of the accomplishment of the organization. I think what makes First Place so remarkable is the leadership and the staff, and most of all, the kids. When I talk to other people about First Place, I feel proud and humbled. When we first started, we could have never imagined that First Place would get to this point. This is something, of course, many organizations want to do, but yet I've seen First Place actually accomplish it. I think what the foster care system and others can learn from First Place is how to work with young people in a way that has integrity, but yet accountability. Because these young people are about what's next before them, not just about what has happened in the past. It's time. 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 To expect. More. 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 It's time. It's time to do more. It's time. It's time. Time to be more. It's time. It's time. It's time to achieve. To achieve more. To someone who's coming into first place today, I would say believe in yourself because the first place is like a family and they believe in you and you can do it.